Not a lot has been said about this case, but this could be a sexual assault of a female student here on campus could lead to serious criminal charges. At the same time, the investigation is conducting an internal investigation to see how her case was handled from the beginning. There's confusion behind what football players are allowed to get away with. It seems very wrong. They should have done something immediately. The timeline is important. A female student came forward with sexual assault allegations in late January, but three football players were not suspended until February the 9th, as well as one team staffer. All four names were not released. The university has launched a Title IX investigation to see if federal standards for relationship violence and sexual misconduct were followed. I've had several concerns brought to me about that, um, and I've talked to our university administration about that. I said students want to see that this is handled in a very uh, expedient procedure, um, and they're assured that we need to make sure that this is a high priority. The university on Tuesday announced that Curtis Blackwell, the football team recruiter, was suspended with pay, but did not say he was the earlier team staffer suspended with the three players. Michigan State University police are conducting the investigation, which includes questioning team staffers, players, and potential eyewitnesses. The Ingham County prosecutor announced this afternoon she's requesting more information and evidence in the case. The three suspended players have been moved out of their campus housing, but are still in class. For, if they're the big names it, of the football team, it would be terrible for the team. Now, it's not known how long this additional investigation will take, but the Ingham County prosecutor says she will make a decision on charges soon after. Carolyn? Jim, any idea what's involved in this Title IX investigation? Yeah, university officials have hired a consultant to look into this. What did team officials, what did university officials do when this complaint first came in? Did they follow proper procedures? There could be serious ramifications if they find any problems in that. Certainly would be a tough blow for Michigan State. Thank you so much for the live report, Jim.